All right, hey, Ex explorers, welcome to our show tonight. <clears throat> we are doing something a little bit different, but first, it is January 30th, and it's a live show, but it's possibly a replay show, as one of my ears is a little bit off kiltered. It is also whose birthday today? It's Rob Fuzz's birthday. It's woo Rob woo! Fuzz. Happy birthday! Woo. Yeah, so I'm not sure if he's on right now, but when he comes on, we'll make sure we are going to say something special to him. My ear is just not cooperating. It's it's going like half palate. <laughs> so we have um, our show tonight is going to be called um, Disney Wars. So we're going to get the boxing gloves out, and we are going to argue in a fun way why we think the parks that we have been chosen, why we think they are the best. So the area in question is Walt Disney World, the resort, and we got different subjects that we're gonna talk about within that. Um, Disneyland and the Disneyland Paris Resort. Um, we have two guests with us and one of them is joining us live for the very first time. So um, a little bit about us. We are Dean G Explorers. I'm Derek. And I'm Gregory. And we are obviously Disney fans, but we also like cruising too. <laughs> we are going to have a disaster over here. Uh, so uh, these darn wires. We need wireless. We are ones. not just uh, Disney fanatics. We are cruising fanatics now too. And we just are. We're currently releasing videos on the Norwegian Bliss cruise that we just recently went on. We have one of our first guests that we'll announce, <clears throat> who's been on here several times, is Jim from More Sunshine, please. So Jim, if you can uh, welcome and just say a little bit about your channel, if someone hasn't seen you before. Hi guys, thanks for having me on. I'm Jim. Uh, my channel is More Sunshine, please. It's uh, I live in Florida, so my channel is Disney World centric. Um, I go to the parks all the time. Uh, annual pass holder. Um, my hobby is creating videos, so um, I've combined my love of Disney and editing videos together uh, to create my YouTube channel. And uh, I've been lucky enough to be on uh, with DNG Explorers for a number of times. So thanks again for having me tonight. Welcome. Very welcome. Always good to have you on with us. And our first time visitor, we are very happy to have him. He is a huge help for a lot of channels. It's Kenny from Alpha Traveler One. So Kenny, a little bit about your channel and welcome. Well, thank you very much guys for having me. Um, so this is definitely the first time and for my perspective, um, I am about 90% Disney slash Universal Studios. And the other 10% is about um, kind of Vegas, New York, and everything else. So, you know, and, and, and it's all about the community for me. You know, um, I've actually started the, uh, the channel because I love Disney. I love people, you know, who love Disney. And we are one great community, and it's a fantastic world. So thank you for having me again. Awesome. Very welcome. And awesome um, for Kenny. He does shows almost, it depends on his work schedule, but he does a lot of shows on Fridays. And it's to help us as um, YouTubers with different subjects. So um, it's so awesome to be able to have someone who has a knowledge and is willing to share it with others who are trying to grow their channel. So if you haven't already um, seen these channels, um, please check them out and subscribe. And um, we are so grateful that you guys are both on our show tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and um, announce who's on our show. We got Tom Henry. Uh, we got Nathan Boat Review Channel. Um, Lindy Liu, she's new to DNG Explorers. <coughs> Hi, DNG, new to your channel. I'm here from Reno, Nevada. Woohoo, go Reno. Haven't We've only been to Vegas, haven't been to Reno yet. Um, Ed Tolson Jr. is on here. And scrolling through, um, everybody's just been talking here. Ruth Mc, Ruth Metcalf, um, so Tweety Cargo six nineteen, Bristol Woods, uh, first time catching a live show, so thank you, Bristol. Welcome. And this life of ours. Hey, uh, we have uh, maybe Rachel and June, or just Rachel, but welcome. Um, our Disney Adventures, Ohana, oh, and uh, Rob Souter. Hello, everyone. Just got on the other side of the blizzard, so now I can listen to the show. Uh, everybody that's dealing with the weather, we hope everybody stays safe and stays warm. Um, we also have George B. from Atlanta, and 
Disney nerd herders are here. I don't think you've said them. So welcome, guys. Nope, I didn't see them yet, but thank you. Um, and I think that's all we have so far. So welcome, awesome. everybody. Thank you. <laughs> and what is so awesome, there is so uh, many of people here from the cruising channels um, that we also participate in, like cruising or traveling with Bruce. There's a lot of the viewers that are on there that are also on the channel. Um, so it's so awesome to see both Disney channels and our fans as well as uh, cruising all on the channel at the same time. So welcome guys. We hope you have a fun time. This is a little bit different for us. Um, we are gonna have fun. So this isn't gonna be something where we're serious about what's going on. Um, it's an all out war. That's what you're talking <laughs> about yesterday. I don't know what you're talking it's about. Gonna be yeah, what are you talking about? The all war. It's a Disney war, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be tongue in cheek, uh, but I do have some ice here just in case things get a little bit out of hand. But um, we chose three parks. Now, we chose one park because we are familiar with it the most. Um, it's, well, we went, well, I think we're the only ones who went to most, Disneyland Paris. But, yeah, we but did, uh, we this is Disneyland there. Paris. So we are doing our, our resort that we're going to be fighting for is uh, Disneyland Paris Resort. We have uh, Jim, who's going to be fighting for the uh, Walt Disney World, which has a lot more stuff to offer. But is it the best choice? You'll find out. And then Kenny is going to have our home park, but it's Disneyland. So the two parks over there. So um, we're gonna each say, um, we're, we'll pick a topic, we'll talk about the resorts in general, and then we're gonna have you guys participate too. So we're kind of curious to see which one gave the best argument for that category. But then also, if you guys have had a chance to experience them, what do you think the best topic that we're talking about is? So. George B says, sounds like a Disney Smackdown. You're absolutely right. It's a Smackdown. <laughs> we, we should have had that wrestling ding, ding, ding bell, but we don't have one of those. It's kind of funny. When we were choosing this, um, we actually reached out to La Lido Loca because if you haven't watched their show, they have one called uh, Cruise Wars. And we came up with the idea, which is incredibly similar to it, but we thought it would be fun to do one with Disney instead of Disney cruising wars. Disney Wars. And we we're trying to figure out another name that we could use. We we're all these different things, SmackDown and um, Battle Rumble and all this stuff. And I asked them, would they mind if were they okay if we use the name? Because it is very similar to what they do and also um, the just the name, Cruise Wars and Disney Wars. And they replied to us and saying they were totally fine with it. And um, so they're hoping to join the show with us. So um, kudos to them. And we're actually hoping to have them on our show in, in sometime in February um, when they come back from the cruise. So if you guys haven't checked out La Lita Loca and what their cruise wars are like, they're definitely fun. Um, it's, it's not serious. So if you guys see us with kind of like attitudes, which we probably won't have anyway, but um, it's all fun. And then at the end of it all, we will say how we truly feel about the resorts and which ones we feel are the best. So with oh, that... So we had our oh, first Dilly right. Dilly, so Dilly Dilly, Bob and Ashley. He was the one that said Dilly Dilly. This is for Rob. I, he's probably out with celebrating his birthday. So Happy Rob birthday, says, Rob. these are in honor Rob. of him. <laughs> dilly Dilly. And these are... Little fish bowls, yes. Fish they bowls. are fish bowls. Yes, little fish bowls. <laughs> the glass I had earlier on Rob's show was huge, so we scaled down. And, and oh, it looks wow. like... Oh, God. <laughs> What did you put in that? Blue Caraco and, and habanero tequila. I told you not too strong. <laughs> all right, guys. Are we all ready for it? So I think um, we'll do the ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yes. Um, we'll start with the resorts. So a little bit about the resorts. Um, who wants to go first? Who wants to explain what resorts um, has to offer? Like I, can I can do hey, that. I can do that. <laughs> Rob Fuzz is here. I'm sorry, really quick. Happy birthday, Rob Fuzz. I hope you're enjoying your awesome special day. Happy birthday. Uh, I can start if that's all right. Very good. Go ahead. And I know you said this is all fun and games, but when you look at the camera, Derek, it looks like I've already torn one of your ears off. So, um, <laughs> uh, okay, resorts. Now, I don't, uh, being new to this, I don't know uh, everything I... I uh, need to say to plead my case, but I'll just say that this doesn't seem to be a fair fight right off the bat. Uh, Walt Disney World has over 25 resorts. And I think that's um, 
more than double uh, Disneyland and Disneyland Paris put together. So this doesn't seem to be a fair fight, uh, uh, you know, right at the beginning. That's over uh, 30,000 hotel rooms. And this is not including the resorts in the Disney Springs area. Uh, there are seven non-Disney resorts over there as well. Uh, but people that stay there also get uh, perks of Disney guests. And uh, there is a, uh, you know, there are, uh, there's a price range for everybody. There's, you know, your deluxe resorts, your moderate resorts, your value resorts. And uh, there's all my, I haven't even mentioned my favorite resort, which is the Fort Wilderness Campground. Um, that is my favorite resort. And it's just, uh, you, you can, uh, you can uh, use a tent, an RV. They've got cabins to rent. Um, I could go on for a half hour, but uh, I'm going to give you guys some time. Um, but just the, the vastness of the Walt Disney World resortosphere, um, I don't know if you guys can compete, but good luck. Uh, I'm out. We need all the time we can get. See, he's showing mercy to us. <laughs> I don't know. All was right, I supposed so to be more specific? Uh, I, is that all right? <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm yeah, new at this. We're good. We're good. Right. Well, um, so... Eric Kenny, and Greg, what, you guys go. You go. Okay. So um, the Disneyland, the next one we'll do, we'll explain a little bit more about what each resort. So we're talking about like the Walt Disney World Resort, not just the hotels. We'll go into more like what is actually there, how big is a property, when it opened. But since we're all going on with the hotels, um, Disneyland Paris actually has seven hotels. So they have the grand one, which is the Disneyland Hotel, which is we were fortunate enough to stay at. <clears throat> That's actually at the park gate. So that imagine, awesome. right imagine over the where um, in Walt Disney World, where the, the lagoon is, that's where the hotel is, right? Smack in, in the middle of it. I didn't like the color <laughs> scheme though. It was all- that, What are you doing? We're having, it's it's positive. We're, <laughs> you're defeating us. <laughs> but I didn't like it though. That's not what you're supposed to say. The colors are beautiful. Oh, okay. The colors I shine it. Oh in my the gosh, sunlight. I couldn't get over the colors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you put so much dilly dilly in my dilly yes. dilly. <laughs> I don't I'll think Greg quite understand the concept of this. No, of this I show. understand it. <laughs> so um, they also have down to a bargain one. So that's one of the good things about the Disneyland Paris hotels is you can stay low and cheap, or you can stay up at the very, 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 very expensive. So there's a lot to offer by staying at a Disneyland Paris resort. All right, Kenny, your turn. Okay, so everybody knows I love your home park, which is Disneyland. The Disneyland Resort is fantastic simply because it ranges from everything from the Grand Californian to the really inexpensive um, partner uh, hotels there. And just to give you an idea, we're looking at um, the Grand Californian all the way from five six hundred dollars all the way to the Good Neighbor Hotel, the Hilton Hotel, which is less than half a mile away. I would say it was about a third mile away. It's a, it's a nice walk for dollars a night. So you can't go wrong with that. And within the resort, um, you can walk everywhere without having to pay extra parking and having to take um, take a bus from, say, a, um, a low-end uh, Disneyland resort, which 30 minutes to the park, 30 minutes back. That's one hour that you're wasting. You're not wasting any time where you're in Disneyland resort. This is the reason why Disneyland resort is the best, guys. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to kind of add something to it. <laughs> Another reason why well, you guys explained a little bit about it, and maybe you guys can kick back something too if you feel, but um, we're going to say the reason why we would choose Disneyland Paris Resort for the hotels <laughs> is because the um, there's less options to choose from. There's seven, and do they do have the good neighbor ones, which are just outside of it, but you're not racking your brain trying to figure out where should I stay. There's so many options. Walt Disney World, there's too many options. Why do you want to look at 22 different hotels? Just choose one hotel. That's all you need to do. Mm -hmm. And... Disneyland, if you exclude the Good Neighbor Hotels, they only have three, and they don't have any discount ones. If you want to stay cheaply, you're looking at 300 bucks a night. 
I don't have that money. So and ours had distinctive wallpaper on it. I remember in the bathrooms it had stuff from Fantasia. So if you wanted to see different animals, you got hippos and and uh, alligators and you know all the characters from Fantasia. So, so basically, we can potty cool. in the world of Disney. Is what you're saying? Yeah, you can sing to Fantasia as you <laughs> exactly. do your business. I guess. No. <laughs> what are your guys' arguments? Uh, well, you've already Jeff, undermined again. yours, uh, Greg. Uh, you hated the colors, so I can't even I can't even hear anything <laughs> you say anymore. And then, uh, uh, Derek, uh, too many options. Is that even a real thing? Nice try. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, I think I think from a Dis Dis Disneyland perspective, um, you know, literally, you are within the parks. You can walk out of the hotels and you are in the parks, guys. How many Disney resorts give you that? Who are paying for your convenience? And let me tell you, every minute count when you are there having fun. But don't forget, you have to wait for those buses and the crowds to get into Disneyland. So it takes a little bit still to get well, there. Well, he's saying they're already there. You no, I, I beg to differ. <laughs> if you're already there. So. Did, did you warp speed over or something? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're going to um, borrow something. If you guys haven't seen one of Jim's live shows, he does this really fun thing where it's chat check. And uh, so you have to watch one of his live chats if you haven't. So <clears> we're going to use this time. Of no. Having it on the screen. We're going to use this time to call it chat check. So let's see Which what I've people are checking. saying. <clears throat> we also have a few people that. Um, uh, showed up. Busy Mama Perino is how you said it from the previous um, one that was on here. So it's pronounced Perino. Oh, okay. And then um, we Blue also. Color cruisers Blue Cruisers yep. on. Jay. Welcome. 45 uh, degree, negative 45 degrees in Chicago right now. I said the power keeps going in and out. So he's been catching glimpses of our show off and on. So I thanked him for the support. Nathan, boat review, um, are, have to leave. Welcome, guys. Thank you for showing up. Really appreciate it. Um, we have um, some of the comments is um, our Disney Adventure says Disneyland Paris has seven hotels. Take a note there. Don't mind me. Um, let's see what else we have going on about it. Cargo's laughing at us <laughs> as she cuts fabric. I wonder what she's <laughs> making with that fabric. I don't know. She has to share that sometime. Uh, Tom Henry said the Contemporary Hotel is the best. Hmm, we'll see how that rates with us when we get down there. Um, Disneyland is the closest to the park from uh, Disney Mama Parino. Taser Travel is hey, on. welcome. We met them on the Bliss. They were on the Bliss with us. They're also a travel one. So Tweety's here, too. I don't know if you had mentioned that earlier. Right. Yep. All right, guys. So um, a lot to offer. I don't think we're going to say who do you think is winning right now. So let's start then a little bit different. Um, Jim, do you want to start again in terms of – so we'll discuss, like, when the park opened, um, how many acres, if you guys possibly know that, um, how many theme parks are there, water parks. Um, it's going to be hard to say restaurants, but, like, what com compromises what they would call the Walt Disney World area, the resort area. So, Jim, what does – Walt Disney World have to offer us, and why would you recommend it? Uh, okay, uh, I assume I won the first round. I didn't hear that, but I am, I'm just guessing it, so I'm just going to say that. Uh, I don't know exact acreage. I do know that Walt Disney World, the area that Disney owns, is uh, usually compared to the size of Manhattan. I think I'm right about that. But uh, uh, what are we, I'm talking about the whole of Walt Disney World now. Is that Correct. what I'm doing? Yeah, okay. So theme parks, when they opened, and so on and so on. Okay. Uh, just off the top of my head, we've got four theme parks. We've got two water parks. We've got two miniature golf courses. I should have maybe put that lower on the list. Uh, we've got the Boardwalk, Disney Springs, a whole shopping complex with um, uh, restaurants galore. Um, it is a city unto itself. Um, it's... It's got, I think, just about everything that you can think of. Uh, it's a one stop. Well, it's not one stop. It's like eight thousand stops. It's so big. It's uh, but it's um, you don't really have to leave Disney property to have a a full uh, 
full blown vacation with everything there is to offer. So, um, uh, we, you know, without going on, on too much, was that adequate? Is that, uh, did I get that? All right. Just, here we go. So basically there's a lot to offer and maybe too much to offer that will be, you'll be overwhelmed and you don't want to go back there cause you're overwhelmed. You know, just because you yeah. can't make a decision don't hold that against <laughs> everybody else. I think you did leave out two other parks in that as well. That's so. because they don't really have to mention them that much. Yeah, there has been anyway. So. Exactly. <laughs> Kenny. Oh, is it our turn? It's our turn. <laughs> All right. So turn. Disneyland Paris opened April 12th, 1992. We were fortunate enough to visit the 25th anniversary uh, in September of 2017 is when we went and um, had a great time. We are wearing the Disneyland Paris 25th anniversary jackets. That's like the the big thing that we bought for our souvenir. So that's our big um, purchase. Yeah. Um, it was the second park outside of the USA to open, the first one being Tokyo Disneyland. The second park there is named after our idol, Walt Disney. Its sister park is Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World, but this park is called Walt Disney Studios. It also, if you see behind us, it, there's the partner statue with Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse. That actually is probably in the true park where it belongs because it's in the Walt Disney Studios Park. It's not in the Disneyland Park like what it is in Disneyland and also the Magic Kingdom, which is a Disneyland Park. So the statue is truly where it deserves to be in the right spot. Um, 14, people say Disneyland, who goes to Disneyland Paris? It's not doing any money. 14.8 million visitors visited in 2017. That's pretty and good. they get covered in snow and they still go out to play. <laughs> I actually saw videos of um, Baloo and I think um, King Louie throwing snow. Oh, no, the chipmunks, they were all throwing snow at each other. So that's something extra too. That's a little extra bonus if you go during the snow time. So that's pretty awesome. There's uh, 4,800 acres of property. It's not compared to the 27,000 acres of Walt Disney World, but that just means you get to see it more easier at a, a less frantic pace because you're not afraid to see everything, that you're not going to see everything. So two theme parks, seven hotels, seven associated hotels, a golf course, they have a railway station. We were able, because we have, I have family in England, that we were able to take the channel, which is a high-speed rail, which goes under the English Channel, and we that was pretty cool. entered the gates. We stopped like got right out, there. Right there. The train station is right there, which was an amazing experience. You can see the Eiffel Tower while you're on that train. <laughs> there is the Disney Village, and there's also a large shopping mall, which is not too far from it. You could walk there if you wanted to, but that would be a little bit of a walk. and what other place? It's only 20 miles from the center of Paris. Where else would you want a park destination? So with that, drop the mic. Bam. That was Kenny, me, but okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, Disneyland is the, is the original. You can never beat the original. And I could tell you that Disneyland is great simply because it's got a hundred and it is all the parks were within walking distance. Literally, you walk out of Disneyland and literally walk to California at DCA. So one of the best things about this is that between the two parks, there's over a hundred different attractions. And you could do one area without taking another bus or, you know, really walking a huge distance to get to. And to, to kind of, uh, to what uh, Derek well, if he wants to really uh, play with it and, you know, gloves off, we, um, California, we are literally maybe less than tw 20 miles away from the best and the most beautiful California. We are literally within something miles away from, you know, the California where you could go skiing. And then you could also go elsewhere. Where can you also get a beautiful desert scene as well in the same area? There you go. There goes it. <laughs> Mike, drop. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, in the comments while we are going to be reading them, 
who do you think's winning so far? What part are we do doing? You a think? chat check. We're gonna do a I chat check. I think we're check. doing a chat check right now. <laughs> so we did have a few more people join us. We did. I think Jim should be the one that says chat check. Okay, Jim. You know, if you had told me, I would I would have put it up here on my screen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <laughs> let's, you right, just, uh, ready? You chat check. Yeah, let's go. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we did have some more people join us. We had Lalita Loka joined us, so I believe it's Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. We had uh, some others that I saw. Um, if I can read my eyes right, um, Deb Gilmetti. Thank you for joining us. Um, she's actually going on the escape uh, this mm -hmm. Sunday, and um, we're going to go on the escape in September. So it's interesting awesome. to see how she's. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoy it. Um, Brittany Lockwood, who is a huge Disney fan as well. Welcome, Brittany. And if I missed anyone else, um, I don't think I got everybody else. The more dilly dilly, the more Greg wins. <laughs> Yay. Uh, Bob and Ashley, I don't think we said welcome to them. Um, they said, sounds like Walt Disney World's winning. Hmm. But they might be a little bit biased because they could basically skip over to Walt Disney World. That's how close they are. Okay. Who said not the more dilly close, dilly? Uh, come. Cargo. Oh, cargo. And then she said, drink up, Greg. Wow. <laughs> um, uh, Big Mama uh, Perino said, Big Bear, Coachella, Disney Ann, all in one weekend. But that just shows and proves if you have to go to other places on the same weekend, you're not really excited about the park. Oh, mm. good point. Mm. I was thinking that same thing. Yeah. So drop the mic. Detours. <laughs> yes, exactly. Juan Rodriguez is here. He's a Disneyland fan. So um, <laughs> welcome, Juan Rodriguez. So, all right, you guys. So we have one person that says they think Walt Disney World is winning so far. Oh, I think it's think? I think it's everybody thinks that, but but go ahead. Go ahead, whatever you want to say. <laughs> all right. So maybe we're gonna have to hold off a little bit on that. So Ed Tolson Jr. is here. Welcome, Ed Tolson. So many of our friends from uh, Traveling with Bruce is here. So welcome, guys. Thank you for joining us. We are doing the Disney Wars. It's just kind of a fun thing. We're not really serious about this. Um, these are our beloved friends. Oh, we're serious. <laughs> but uh, serious. we're having fun. And um, we're talking about why we feel, for us, Disneyland Paris is the best. Jim is talking about why he feels Walt Disney World is the best. And Kenny is explaining, he's trying to explain why he thinks Disneyland Resort in Anaheim is the best. So, <laughs> the attractions. Yeah, we haven't even gotten to that part, so watch out. Yes, so there's, as you said, four theme parks. You can even include the water parks that they have there. So are we doing it, or is someone else doing James the attractions? Do, okay. Uh, we're all going to say it, but why we feel attractions in Disneyland Paris is the best. Jim's going to say yeah. why he feels the attractions in Disneyland, well, well Disney World are the best. We'll so. give Jim a head start. Go yeah, ahead, Jim. Jim. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Tell us. Try to tell us why you I don't need a head is. start. Uh, can I just uh, <laughs> can I just say that I wish you had told me we weren't taking this seriously before I wasted money on a gym membership. Um, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> well, that has uh, all benefits. Anyway, uh, the attractions. Now, this again, it's uh, it's not fair. Uh, I could spend half a day talking about all the attractions. I guess what I'll do is I'll I'll narrow it down and, and focus on the things that are maybe um, unique to to Florida, and uh, I I assume they're unique to Walt Disney World. I'm not familiar at all with Disneyland Paris. So, um, you know, in the in the Magic Kingdom, we've got the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover, and this may be one of my favorite attractions in any of the parks anywhere it's just um you know it it gets really sunny in florida this attraction is completely shaded it takes you on a tour of tomorrowland you get to go inside of you know i'm talking too much about one uh, attraction aren't i i'll just uh, you get to go inside space mountain whatever it's great i love it There's i made no a whole rules. video about it check out my channel uh also uh let's move over to animal kingdom uh, we've got uh, Pandora, the land of Avatar, and what is maybe the most thrilling ride in any Disney park right now, which is uh, Flight of Passage. And if you're not familiar with this, it's a it's a simulated you you ride on one of their banshees, uh, and uh, you wouldn't think it's as thrilling as it is, but. Um, it's like soaring on crack. It's amazing. And uh, you're on this, um, 
uh, it's almost like you're on a motorcycle, but uh, so you're, you're seated and, and leaning forward. Again, I'm talking too much about one attraction. Uh, what else? Uh, I believe you're Expedition fine. <laughs> Expedition Everest is uh, uh, another one unique to Florida, one of the great Disney coasters. Uh, what else? Epcot. Um, uh, the uh, Spaceship Earth is just an iconic attraction. Um, you've got, uh, uh, frozen ever after. Is that in, in, uh, any of the other parks or is that unique to Walt Disney world? It's a uh, unique and it's okay. probably a good reason that it's so unique to Walt Disney world. Point. Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see what you're doing there. All right. I won't ask you any more questions. <laughs> um, uh, and then what else? Uh, what's the, uh, the, uh, last park Hollywood studios. Um, uh, what's unique there? Uh, I guess we got the rock and roller coaster. Uh, the, the tower of terror, I guess is technically uh, unique to, uh, Walt Disney world now. And then the water parks, um, and they are world-class water parks with their, uh, giant water slides, a, a variety. It's, there's something for everybody in the family of the water parks, uh, I guess, except those that hate water. I shouldn't have said that, but, uh, just, Walt Disney World's so big, uh, has so many attractions. Again, I don't feel this is a fair fight for you guys, but uh, I'll stop there, uh, and uh, good luck with whatever you have to say. Uh, you made it all too easy, Jim. Yeah. All Walt too Disney easy. World would be great if you didn't have to plan 60 days in advance to get the Fast Pass <laughs> that you want. And if you want to go see the Flight of Passage, if you don't have a Fast Pass, Prepare to wait about three hours, about if fifteen minutes after the park opens. So pack a lunch while you're in, in line. There, yeah, if you want to wait in a long line in the wonderful humidity of a <laughs> two hundred percent humidity, you know what? Be our guest. Be our guest. <laughs> oh, you know, get you me know, started on be our guest. Yeah, that was you know what fair. you don't need? You don't need a passport. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on to our reasons why we think. Um, I just have one word for ours. <clears throat> Thunder Mountain. Enough said. <laughs> mic drop. There since, you go. Since Cargo corrected me and it's not drop the mic, it's mic drop. The best Thunder Mountain by far of all the parts. The Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is uh, the so coaster. Far that we've been on. Is probably the best attraction that we've ever been on any Disney ride in any Disney It has park. its own island, and you don't need a passport to go yep. on that island. It's Wait, yeah, you awesome do. You to rush. Okay, scratch that. And it leaves you wanting more, and you want to get back in line, um, and it's just an amazing experience. But don't stop there. One of the other attractions, which um, I think we'll hold off on this one, they have Space Mountain. And what is the uniqueness of Space Mountain, Greg? It's almost like rock and roll a roller coaster. And you, it shoots you right off and you're in the dark the whole time. And you do timber rolls and go upside down. So if it's you want a thrill cool. ride, guess what? Say no more. The theming is awesome of it. It's like a Jules Verne um, kind of um, looking ships. The theming of it is awesome. And then we go over to Walt Disney Studios. And what two really great attractions that one that Disney World thinks they have to steal but what two <laughs> one of the two attractions do they have in Walt Disney Studios you get to become the size of a rat on Ratatouille's ride and you get to go to the restaurant Chez Le Remy and be turned into the size of a rat and eat all their good food there too you get to sit with the background of a plate <laughs> where else can you go with that exactly and they have Crush's coaster that's an awesome so coaster. that is an insane kind of spinning ride long. in the dark and you don't know where if you're going forward if you're going backwards <clears throat> it's an insane rush and it's a shaded area too so if you went to those attractions that's all you needed to do you could just walk out and just say i've seen it all this is the best park but i ever was forgetting one thing and i don't know if that's what you were gonna save Go ahead. That has to do with the castle. Is that what you were going to say? Yes. We'll say that when we compare the parks. Okay. But um, awesome rides, awesome attractions that you will not find in any other park. or They're better than the rides in the other parks. So with that, we push it over to Kenny. He fell asleep. You know, 
again, it's a, you know, uh, Disneyland is original again. So, you know, if you're comparing attractions, I would say that um, the Cars Land Radiator Spring Racers is one of the best and one of the really fun type of coaster. And it is very, it's extremely well themed. And no one could, you know, really contest that. Anybody who's been on it really comes off with fantastic. And then you're looking at also um, in Disneyland, Indiana Jones, the better version. I think everything is so well done. The, the rides are going through the key scary pieces. And really, Dinosaur has nothing compared to that. So forget about the world. In terms of the resorts wise, you, you're looking at all the really cool stuff like um, the cut, you know, the colors, the night per night um, spectacular. We're talking about uh, um, water cannons going up with all these colors, different, and you have the Ferris wheel in the background. Everything's lit up. It is one of the most beautiful world. And you know, having said that. One thing people don't understand is the value of the rides. They are still, you have the, the best of the old times and the new times, and that's of course the future. Juan, I'm sure we, you were there together with me. You saw past, present, and future, and the future is Star Wars, and we're getting that as well. That's it. There goes my... Um, <laughs> My defense, I guess. <laughs> so, is that all you got? Is that all you got? <laughs> we're absolutely. You know what? This is this is all. I'm I'm telling you, man. This is this is about the best of everything, the best of all the worlds, the old, the present, and the future. Nobody. Jim, do you have anything that, that you can um, add to that? Um, what do you feel about those statements? Uh, well, I was. Uh, uh, I was doing my own little chat check, and uh, Kenny was talking about original. Bob and Ashley uh, mentioned the Titanic was also an original. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I need to say any bit more. Continuing on with the chat check, my wife says, Jim is winning. My son is on here, too, and he says, Jim is winning. Why is he calling me Jim? I don't know. Uh, that's just a small <laughs> sample of what I'm seeing in the chat, though. I guess I'm winning. I, I don't know. <laughs> Derek, did you spike my drink with sass? That's the tweet I think she put a sprinkle of sass in my drink. Or is the whole bottle? Brittany Lockwood said, I cannot wait to go on the knob the Nobby River journey. Um I do not think I would do I do not think I would do the one where you would ride on the Banshee if if I do it will not be anytime soon. See, there's one fear, the fear of not wanting to ride something that's on crack. So <laughs> The fear is real. I don't think you want to run on anything that's on crack. You know, if I could we just had... say, uh, you know, the more people that want to stay away from that ride, the better. That just gives me more opportunity to ride it. That's cool. <laughs> that's a um, good one, touche. Lindy, Lindy Lou said, um, Disney World is too big. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. We also had MG Tau that came I in. said something, but... Uh, we also had some other Katie Burr who joined was with us on our Bliss cruise. Um, she said, "Oh, what did she say? I just saw it and now I lost it." Um, uh, sorry, I was going to say something about that, but crack is whack. Yes, <laughs> busy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what <laughs> busy Mama Parina said. Um, hey, Matt Lake is and, on. Welcome, Matt Lake. <laughs> so Twitty also said, "I did not want to write anything which is on on crack." Rob Souter said, Epcot, Germany, German beer and food, and end of story, Walt Disney World ends. But the sad part is, is it's so expensive in Walt Disney World. You have to walk all the way. It's basically Epcot is two huge parks. You have to walk the farthest. Germany is one of the farthest pavilions that you have to go. And if you make it that far, you're probably way dehydrated. And that beer that you drink, you can't finish it because you're passed out from dehydration. So, <laughs> wow. Damn. Okay, I don't know what you guys have against fitness, but when I go to Epcot, I am counting my steps. I'm getting <laughs> so many steps. It's amazing. So, uh, you know, again, um, uh, uh, well, 
it can't be too big. Would you say Texas is too big? Would you say the moon is too big? You know, as I talk, that argument's not so hot. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty big. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I guess um, I don't even really know what I was getting at. But uh, yeah, well, uh, you count I mean, your count my steps. That's huge. Yeah, you count your steps <clears throat> as you walk. We count our steps as we run. Um, I don't know. Supposed to run, Greg? I saw your video <laughs> in Epcot of you running. Nobody you're stopped one of those me. guys. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> we. Uh, I think I said about MG Tal's joining us too. So welcome, MG. Um, so the next thing we're going to talk about because every Disney resort area. So whether it's in Hong Kong, whether it's in Shanghai, China, whether it's in Tokyo, Disney, they all have a Disneyland park. Now they might call it a different name. For example, in Walt Disney World, um, it wasn't good enough. So they changed it to the Magic Kingdom. But in Disneyland Paris, it's called the Disneyland Park. So they all have that. So we thought it would be fun to say why we feel our parks are the best one. So Jim, start it up. Why is the Magic Kingdom the best park out of all the sister parks? Well, I, I would say that of, of the parks we're talking about here, it's got the best castle. Uh, certainly, um, and I, I know that uh, Californians get defensive when we talk castles, but uh, the Disneyland castle just, um, it's so small. I'm laughing at how small it is. Uh, but the, the one in the Magic Kingdom, uh, that is the castle. That's the one that Disney uses as their logo for everything, for crying out loud. Um, we've got Liberty Square, which is unique, again, to Walt Disney World. Uh, Liberty Square celebrating the, the great history of our country. Um, we've got uh, all of the um, uh, great rides that you would want in a... Uh, main park. Um, you've got your your Jungle Cruise and your Space Mountain, the original Space Mountain, mind you. Um, again, the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover, the greatest ride in the Magic Kingdom. And uh, again, I can go on and on. We've got the uh, the great uh, Happily Ever After projection show at the end of the night. Um, these are just a few of the great things about the Magic Kingdom. Uh, we have the Seven Dwarves Mine Train. I didn't even mention that before. Uh, that's a great Disney coaster. Uh, so uh, that's just a few of the things that makes uh, the Magic Kingdom so great. Back to you. I don't know how to <coughs> transfer it back to you guys. Back to you. <laughs> hmm, Greg, what would you have to say about that? I call bluff. <laughs> Does that even make sense? You're right. I've never been there. How did you know? <laughs> I had to go to Wikipedia. <laughs> no. <clears throat> so is it our turn on our park now? I guess. No. Let's let's. Or how was it? What would you no. have to say? Give you a chance to counteract what Jim said. Oh, I have a counteract. That's fine. I'll do that to him. Kenny fell asleep again. Kenny, are you there? <laughs> yep. So are you guys uh, going to go? Are you going to talk about your, no. uh, your park first? We're going to have you challenge what uh, Jim just said about his park. Jim, dude, let me tell you. You guys came in second. Everything was copied. Disneyland is original. So everything you talk about having how beautiful it is, it's a copy of Disneyland. It's a wannabe. Yes, you ha you guys are bigger, but you know what? Everything in Disneyland is about money. It's about everything scraping every dollar. If you look at if you compare the castle, the castle that we have in Disneyland, it's a free walkthrough guy. In Dis Walt Disney World, they put it in a restaurant, and in order to see the stuff inside, <laughs> you have to get what a reservation months in advance. That's if you get it. And you know, if once you get it, then only then can you walk around and take a look inside the castle. Enough said, brother. <laughs> this is getting fun. Originality. Oh my god, is that originality, <laughs> my friend? <laughs> is that the yellow? Is... That's a paperweight. 
<laughs> do you have a Mike Wazowski? You should drop that. <laughs> I don't. We do have that old mic over there, but that's right. That's right. I'm not so, dropping that. All right. So that's good. That was Kenny. That was awesome. We couldn't even say it any better ourselves. <clears throat> So Cargo said, did you say you have a counteract or a cataract? <laughs> oh, I said <laughs> counteract. counteract. <laughs> George B. said he, if he could get on the plane today and go to uh, his three options, would number one would be Disneyland Paris. Bam. Next would be Walt Disney World. And third would be Disneyland. So George B., we are with you. Closed. There you uh, go. Lita, Lalita Loca, um, thank you for joining us, Jenny. She has to run. Thank you so much. Thank you, very uh, much. Thank you for allowing to use the the war's name. We really appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And um, if you guys haven't checked them out, definitely check out their channel. They're awesome people. <laughs> um, we have um, also there was another comment that I was going to say. Um, yeah, before we get to Kenny's case, um, I'm pretty sure you can fit the Disneyland castle on a cupcake. I'm pretty sure it's that small. You you can't see it. You can see Disneyland Paris. So we'll get on now why we feel Disneyland Paris has the best park. First of all, you can stay in a hotel right outside the park gates. What could be more special than knowing that I mean, you're just inches away right from it? And actually, yes, the the it's gates right the when side, you get in actually. is underneath you. Yeah, and there's one on the side also with that tunnel area. So first appearances is, is yes, that is a hotel in front of the Disneyland Park in Disneyland Paris. <laughs> with its beautiful pink paint, really. I mean, you can't oh, get whatever. Better than that. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you walked in, one of the things that um, I think is called cultural imperial imperialism, if I can say it, cultural imperialism. One of the things they were afraid of is the French, very protective of their culture, and having an American culture come into their country. They really made sure they made the place beautiful. So when you walk into Disneyland Park, you are walking into a treasure. The Streets are paved with brick. Um, all down Main Street is a brick road. So you're really walking down something which is aesthetically beautiful. Um, they were so kind that if there's bad weather, they have two little walkways on the side of Main Street that uh -huh. you can go through to help with the elements. But it's also there in case it gets a little bit crowded, it relieves the traffic going through. So and it just looks they awesome. were very smart to do that. And they celebrate America in that. Then we talk about the castle. With the exception of possibly Shanghai, which I haven't really seen that much of the castle, there is no better castle than the Sleeping Beauty castle. Yeah, and what comes with Sleeping Beauty? <laughs> what big icon is in that movie that just came back to Walt Disney World? The dragon. Yes, so, it's not that dragon, but there is a dragon underneath that castle. It looks pretty cool. Sleeping Beauty's castle is beautiful and what i love about it you walk under it true you do that at disneyland but you actually can but there's see a dragon a castle. <laughs> there's a live, Need we live say dragon. More dragon there's an animatronic dragon that you can visit down underneath it plus they have the heels on the side of it it is by far by far the most beautiful castle of any park so disneyland's one is taller but they have a stage in or well, sorry, Walt Disney World, Cinderella's Castle has a stage in front of it. You can't even walk through it. You have to walk around the side of the stage for you to get into the the castle entryway. And then Disneyland, you sneeze and you're like you walk by the castle. It's, you <laughs> you blink it. and it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. So um, they have um, a lot of stuff unique to um, the layout is going to be the same. And um, Disneyland Park, they have um, Discovery Land instead of Tomorrowland. So you're discovering a whole new world over there. Um, some of the attractions are the same, but they have them a little bit different, like Phantom Manor, um, which is a haunted mansion ride, basically. They do have- Even though you can't understand a word that they say, it's still a good ride to it's go good, through. You're diving Just bring into, your translator on your phone, you'll know everything. <laughs> you're, you're failing again, Greg. No, you're not diving really. into <laughs> another culture to experience what another culture is. And you're still, you're, your hands being you held from your because phone. it's Disney. Disney's holding your hand <laughs> as you're experiencing a new culture and it's okay <laughs> for change. So only Disney can do that. 
And you can't experience that at Walt Disney World. And you can run a, a 10K race at that part too, which we did. <laughs> exactly. And that was like a highlight of the trip. So, And uh, you can get awesome merchandise there that is only for Disneyland Paris. <laughs> and what was the maze that they had there that Epcot <laughs> barely has any kind of maze? They have a maze that you can actually get lost in, in the yeah. Alice in Wonderland maze. Not the one that goes up to your kneecaps in Yeah, Epcot. this goes above your head. <laughs> <laughs> and... We, we don't need to say any more. So, Kenny, with that, we proudly pass it on to you. Thank you very much. And time for a SmackDown now. So, again, um, Disneyland is original. Every one of your parks are copies. So what happens is that, you know, Walt Disney World copied Disneyland. Great. But you know what? Again, everything's about money. Disneyland Paris, here's a problem. The company that originally partnered up with um walt disney world to do this was cheap they didn't want to spill also let the parks really lag in terms of upkeep and i could tell you that simply because i am a shareholder and i also work for investment banking firms and i could tell you the reason why that the disneyland paris has all these dark rides the original dark rides is because they were too cheap to spend any money on real rides and Disney World had to rip it up and give it to them. So this is another reason why Walt Disney World has these new, you know, new rides, you know, the seven dwarves without having, without, you know, being able to move that out, they would still be the same boring park. So again, we, from a Disneyland perspective, it's within walking distance. You could do it in one day. You could do everything you know, without having a three to five hour wait in terms of Walt Disney World and in terms of, uh, you know, Disney, Disneyland Paris, guys have the same thing we do. And you have to spend two to three thousand dollars to fly to Paris. Yeah, people have the money. Think about that. It's all about the middle class having the best of all the worlds. And this is Disneyland Anaheim. There you go. Jim, do you have any uh, cataracts? Well, uh, first, <laughs> let me... Um, no, thankfully. Um, but let me... That was pretty funny. Let me try to crystallize what I, I thought you guys were talking about with Disneyland Paris. If I understand this correctly, you can't go in the castle, but they let you under it. Okay, that's uh, that sounds awful. Um, it sounds like... Uh, <laughs> You can't go on the the uh, Disney Railroad, but you can go under the train. Um, that <laughs> that sounds awful. But uh, also, if, if what I'm hearing is correct, you and this is a quote: "You can't understand a word they say." What? <laughs> <laughs> and no, then again, true. some of the ride is in English and some of it's in French, so they do combination for both. It's and a then, learning if, experience. Okay, then if uh, uh, the last point is, um, if I'm understanding you correctly, and I think I am, uh, they 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 keep it beautiful by leaving the by keeping out the visitors. Is that uh, is that what you said? <laughs> I don't under I don't understand. I mean, okay, I guess yeah, that that works. Um, no garbage anywhere because nobody's there to throw it on the ground. Okay, I suppose. All right, um, if that's your argument. I don't even know how to reply. You know you think that dragon's cool, Jim. <laughs> don't be lying. You know that's cool. <laughs> uh, Disney. But you know what? Disney... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on a moment. I'll tell you, I think that your dragon, the one in the parade, is so much better and more cooler than the one in Paris. Underneath, as you stated, they have to go underneath the castle. Yeah, Ridiculous. You, you they make you go in a so. basement. Mm. But funny though, <laughs> Kenny, because the exact same dragon in the parade is in a Disneyland Paris parade. And this one didn't catch on <laughs> fire like the one at Walt Disney World. Okay, it was really hard for me to say, but <laughs> to put that down, it's all it, good it, fun. But it's back now. So we did actually have that same dragon. And we got to take pictures with that dragon when we ran our 10K race. We got burnt in the picture, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we got burnt. 
<laughs> uh, Disney and Nerd Herder said, Jim, did you send us tissues before this show? So uh, <laughs> we also had um, some other people join us. Uh, Carl's vlog joined us. Welcome. So thank you for joining us. Um, tell me that Mickey Lisa is a thing in Paris. I'm not sure about, <coughs> about that. Bob and Ashley said it's like watching a foreign movie with subtitles in another language. <laughs> so he was talking about <laughs> the rides. Uh, they do have It's a Small World over there. And I would say it is the Very best different. facade out of all the Disney parks. They really made it, um, they really fixed it up to look like outside of it is in a garden. Um, it's beautiful and um, it's cool. They it's a really little cool bit statue out there too. Yeah, it's different than the ride because they have the USA um, more featured differently than what they do in um, our It's a Small Worlds. Um, so it's a different experience, the same song obviously, um, but it is a very cool ride. And um, it goes about 15 miles an hour. So it's a lot faster than the other rides. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It wow, is, it, they put a motor on those boats? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but, hang on to your... <laughs> hang on to your children. Hang on to something. <laughs> All right, here's, here's something really funny. So um, Cargo said, let me, let me throw this out there. If uh, anyone needs a translator, yours truly speaks French and would be willing to tag along. In other words, um, you know, she'll, uh, we, we could pack her in our, our, our luggages. <laughs> we could make that work. So Tweet said, buckle up, kids. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a wild ride. <laughs> All right. Um, Little uh, Zorro, Laurel joined us, or Laurel joined us. Thank you for joining us. And Alyssa thank Stenberg, you. thank yes. you. And um, all right, so we're going to talk about, the last subject we're going to talk about is, um, so what do you guys think uh, with Chat Check? Jim, what chat, is it? Chat Check. I, I, yeah, next time. <laughs> we are going to say, who do you think is winning so far? What park has you excited to go to? And you think, yeah, they're right. That is the best resort. Oh, don't embarrass area. yourselves. It's me. <laughs> just let's go on with the next topic. Everybody thinks it's me. You're embarrassed enough for us all, so we don't need to be embarrassed. <laughs> all right. So as they start to chat, we're going to get started with the next one, which is the food and restaurants, which, especially for Disney Dan, yeah, you that is have, the most important thing out of everything. Food and restaurants. Exactly. So, um, what would you say is the dining, the top of the notch dining experience? Maybe say a few because it could go on for days. That's a D and G Explorers Rob Fuzz burp number one. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have uh, <laughs> um, so Jim. Why would you say, and what restaurants does Walt Disney World has to offer that is bar none better than anything that we can offer at our parks of choice? Okay, the uh, Walt Disney World has over 200 places to eat. They have 90 full service restaurants, and that includes 30 in the parks alone. Uh, but the one, I guess if we're talking about the best, I guess the, the, the primo restaurant in Walt Disney World is called Victoria and Alberts, and it's in the Grand Floridian Resort. And this is a AAA five diamond award winning restaurant every year. And if you don't know what that means, I don't either, but I read it, but uh, no, that's a big deal. And, and also what I read about this restaurant is that uh, it's commonly rated the second best restaurant in the country. Second only to, um, I think it's called Daniel and that's in New York city. Um, but this is uh I can't afford to eat there. This is like a 10 course meal. Uh, it's like 200 bucks a person, but uh, I've seen vloggers eat there and it's, uh, it's an event and it's, uh, uh, you get a uh, service like you wouldn't believe food, like you wouldn't believe it's, um, it's an experience that I don't think <laughs> you guys can, uh, there's nothing comparable. I think I, uh, I win this already. You probably shouldn't even, you probably shouldn't even uh, talk. So uh, uh, I don't know if you want to say goodbye. Uh, tell everybody thanks for watching the live stream. Uh, I don't know, but uh, wow. Victorian Alberts is probably the best restaurant uh, in uh, all of Disney properties worldwide. So uh, there you go, and off to you. Back to you guys. 
so my only thing is is that um you said it's the best restaurant but did you say you've never been there i can't afford to go there it's that good <laughs> they so won't have you know it's the best restaurant <laughs> i i i know what i i've got the internet <laughs> so <laughs> hmm wow <laughs> where do you go from that <clears throat> all right hmm. enough said we were fortunate enough and several other people were fortunate. I think we need enough. to pull out our Ratatouille card. Yeah. So we have two restaurants that we're going to talk about at the Disneyland Paris Resort. One, we'll start with the second one that we did on the second day. <laughs> we went to Walt's Restaurant, which is inside oh, Disneyland Park. This restaurant is the only one, as far as I know, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. It's the only one which is featured for Walt Disney. So you can see uh, different all about stuff. Uh, yeah, it's featured for him. Um, some of the menu items are supposed to be for him. Actually, I could be lying about that, but it sounds good. Um, <laughs> but, um, so you're walking in, you see posters on the wall with him. Some of the, his memorabilia is in there. And it really makes you feel like you're going back to the time when Walt was growing up and some of the stuff that was special moments in his life. So that <coughs> restaurant was good. And for us, it was a five-star restaurant. So whatever a five-star restaurant is, we're calling it a five-star restaurant. What it lacked in contents of a 10-course meal, like you said, it made up with Lester and history of Walt Disney. So that's what it's about. It all started with a mouse. Bam. There you go. <laughs> and then the next one, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking at chat real quick. We've had a few people that jumped in. Um, Michelle Phillips, Disneyland Eric. Um, and I think I greeted others through the chat, but welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us. We really yes, appreciate you, you joining us. Much. Um, we are just doing a fun tongue, tongue and cheek. Yeah. It's not a real Disney fight. Award. No, because we're going to win anyway. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but the number one restaurant, which no one else wants. And I don't know why, because it's so amazing. And Walt Disney world, shame on you for not going for it. It is Le Bistro Chez Remy. That's which is awesome. the one mentioned Greg mentioned earlier. You can have ratatouille there. You are shrink, shrunk, 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 a rat down to the size of a rat. You cross a line and suddenly you are a rat. But there's no real rats there, so don't worry. <laughs> they treat you like a rat. You feel like you're a rat. And you're there with giant silverware that you're sitting down. The food is glorious, let me tell you. And if you get the wine pairing for it, believe me. Your day is done. It's awesome. So um, that was our <laughs> probably our favorite restaurant of now. any one that we went to. <laughs> and all we can say with that is dilly dilly, hands down, the best restaurant. You don't know what you're missing. You need to go there just for Le Bistro Chez Remy. And we did yeah. a vlog on it. And Greg's drunk in it. So um, you have to watch it just for that. <laughs> so you're a drunken rat. Is that what I'm understanding? That's no, no, I said there's no rats. every health code violation. <laughs> Disqualified. <laughs> well, you know what? Here's a here's a problem that I have. Here's a problem I have with eating at a place that's called rat. I mean, seriously. Ratatouille. I mean rat, rat, and you have a rat well, and you get rat. shrunk to a rat. It just, it just, the way that it sounds, it just doesn't sound really cool. <laughs> well, it's, it's I mean, Le Bistro Chez Remy, so. Yeah, there's no, the word rat doesn't even come up. Remy was a rat, wasn't he? He was. Yeah, but people don't know okay. that. Okay. Still rat. <laughs> still rat. And, and why are they shrinking you down to size? What are they hiding? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. All right, Kenny. <laughs> We don't need to say anything else. <laughs> Our right. point is obviously it's the best one, but try to compare. Um, I'm going to give you um, restaurants from <coughs> two levels. And one of them, it, one of my favorites, and which actually has so much history behind, um, literally, is Cathay Circle. It is one of the high end restaurants. Food is great, great pairing with wines. Um, their steaks, their meats are fantastic. And one of the things that I love about that restaurant is when you go there and you tell them you want, say, a steak, you would ask any waiter and they would be able to help you pair a nice wine or beer with it. Whatever you like, whatever you, know, you are in a mood for, 
they will make sure that your experience really count. And when you walk out of there, everything from your appetizer to your drink to your dessert really is catered to your taste. And then the next one, um, the one which I go more because Cathay Circle was very expensive. I only go there when I am celebrating something, right? So from from a almost everyday thing, I like the Blue Bayou. Blue Bayou has a, a fantastic, really sit-down environment, very easygoing, great food, you know, and literally you sit down. It is the time to relax and really celebrate your time at Disneyland with great food, great ambiance, and desserts great as well. Enough said. <clears throat> I don't know about that one. I believe... <laughs> Go ahead. The uh, the um, we'll just start with the blue bayou. It's so dark in there. You don't know if you're eating what you're eating. You could be eating ratatouille or rat <laughs> Remy. So it's so dark. They hide their f their food options for you. So you think you're eating something that might taste good, but you don't really know where that food came from. So I have a little bit of reservations. Plus, you have that stinky water that's from the Pirates of the Caribbean because you're out in the blue bayou area, and um, I'm just, I just, it's well, too expensive. Well, neither, well, here's, well, here's the thing. Neither can, can you say about that rat place <laughs> because you have a, you could have a rat in the back cooking and giving you a little bit of their uh, special uh, rat sauce. <laughs> 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 and you all, how do you know you're not eating that special rat stuff? <laughs> and, and did I, I hear you correctly? Did I hear uh, correctly? Kenny uh, touted the fact that it's a sit down restaurant. Dude, that's every restaurant. That's not special. And I also believe that you said that they help you pair your food with wine or beer. Um, and it's a sit-down restaurant. Well, Shizzle or me did just that. So um, no contest there. Sorry. Yeah, but here's the problem, though. I don't have to worry about the um, converting my money into euros. I don't have to worry about, you know, the Frenchmen saying, oh, you're from America, you suck. Or, you know, potentially giving um, the right amount of tip when you're in a foreign country as well. And you don't have to worry about potentially a um, getting ripped off on the conversion. We had, no, we had no problems whatsoever. Our waitress was very lovely. She was um, attentive, very fun, happy. Um, just a really good time there. And we will tell you, a smile goes a long way. So they are very appreciative if you say, bonjour, konnichiwa. Well, not konnichiwa, because that's Japanese. And we know a swimmer will always do one, don't worry. <laughs> and they're very appreciative. If you try a little bit <laughs> of saying some of the, the uh, French words, but a smile will make you happy. Now, when you walk away, they might say, silly Americans. But <laughs> in person, they're really friendly to us. We didn't have any issues. We actually used the, um, it was like a dollar 18 for every yeah. euro. So it so, wasn't that hard. Yeah, Derek was walking around saying, we, we to everybody. <laughs> Didn't come out right, but, you know, he tried. Hey, so. hey Jim, doesn't yeah. uh, and every cast member have to be great and give you a smile to you in every park? Isn't that the, the, the theme, you know, the, right? Well, y yes, so, but if, if you're, if you're going to go there, the, I will say when you were touting the service uh, of your restaurant, you said, ask for a steak and they'll bring it to you. Kenny, again, that's every restaurant. That's what you do at a restaurant. <laughs> you order food, they bring it to you. That's how it works. <laughs> no, because uh, for those people who really truly understands um, eating is, there could be an art in eating. And they take care of everything from beginning to finish for you. There's a difference between that truly high-end restaurant to a maybe a low-end restaurant where everybody could just bring you your food. And I agree with you. You know what? You could do that in a buffet. I could do that myself. However, it's that experience guy. And it's it's you know, it's kind of the restaurant where you know you can't, you're saying you couldn't afford to go into. Save up, go it, try it out. There's a difference. <laughs> All right, sense. guys. So, people watching, what do you think? Who has stated the best case of what resort is better? 
Disneyland Paris. Yes. Uh, Walt Disney World. Too many options. Don't have enough time to see everything. Disneyland. Too old. Not much to really see there that you can see better in Disneyland Paris. Just saying. I'm not trying to taint your uh, perception on anything. Who did you think stated the best case of which has the best resort that you think you should see? Hold, <laughs> so on, what kind hold, of on, that? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 I'm going to also ask Jim to do the same thing. Um, <clears throat> so would you rather go to a park that you have to fly thousands of miles, go through visa, different processes, and potentially get, get uh, patted down by all kinds of freaking police and everything else, and go to a country where um, literally there are people who are fighting, shooting each other, and, you know, and having to worry about the conversion in terms of money right and go under like jim said a castle that is not really operative but you, they'll, they'll put you underneath the castle right would you rather do that or go to disney disney world my former park which is really too big and it's all about the money and literally you have to pay four tickets for four parks and if you want to go into the water parks you have to pay extra as well or go to Disneyland, nice and simple. You got the original. You have everything from the old, from the dark original rides, all the way to the new Star Wars um, out soon in the middle of summer. Which one would you like to go? Jim, your turn. Uh, I want the, to go to the one that's uh, close and convenient to my house, and that is Walt Disney World. I wasn't, uh, you lost me uh, after the first... Uh, 10 seconds there, but uh, yeah, I'm going to, uh, uh, if you're going to try to get me to, to give you another answer, uh, I'm not going to do that. Walt Disney World is, <laughs> is my choice. You know, warts and all, it's uh, still the best. Um, it's uh, it's the biggest, and, and you guys talk about it like that's a bad thing, and uh, more options, that's not a bad thing. That's a great thing. So, um if it's too big for you, maybe it's it's not your park. But uh, you know, maybe, uh, uh, you know, maybe stay somewhere uh, safe. Um, uh, your own kitchen, perhaps. Uh, you know, I don't know how far you want to travel away from your own home. But uh, Walt Disney World uh, is big because everybody in the world wants to come here. Um, that's why it has to be big. So. Uh, I guess the the park I want to go to is Walt Disney World. Yeah, that, that's that's the resort area for me. Back to you. <laughs> All right, Greg. So, everybody likes <laughs> so we have to answer that. What do you say, Greg? What would you say? Why Walt uh, Walt Disney World, Disneyland Paris is the best part? <clears throat> because it's different. It's unique. It has something different to offer. It has the best Thunder Mountain, in our opinion. It's got a Walt Disney Studios park. So far, it's the best on the mountain, actually. And part of the fun thing, when you go on vacation, you expect to travel. You want to explore. As and you have we have culture. Are, culture. And differences, different yes. types of food and stuff you can taste. So it's experiencing a different taste of Disney through a different lens for a different audience. And um, are you talking about travel? Epcot? I think you're, it sounds like you're talking about Epcot, which is in <laughs> no, Walt Disney World. <laughs> we're talking about Disneyland Paris. <laughs> no, so um, it's a vacation, and how you handle it is always a personal thing. So if you're always smiling, if you're always happy, you'll have a good experience. We had an awesome experience in well, uh, <laughs> Disneyland Paris, and I was wow. going to say Walt well, Disney World, um, but um, <laughs> you're. Why are just we are planning to go back in 2025. So, um, wait, no, 2022 for the 30th anniversary. So, um, we loved it so Five much that we are going back. That's how important it is for us to go. Um, if you've never tried it once, you it's a must see. Um, the best looking park of all of them by 2025. They're gonna have Marvel Land. It's actually called Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is a new land at the Walt Disney Studios. Um, Frozen's going in there. It's interesting that they could use that word Marvel. Well, it's that. in Europe, that's why. And mm -hmm. then um, it's true. They're also building a third land too. And for the top of my head, I can't think of it. Um, Frozen. 
uh, it's, there's building three new lands in Walt Disney Studios to really make that park better. Um, it, it's going to blow Hollywood's, oh, Star Wars land. They're building the Galaxy's Edge there too. So um, <clears> hands <throat> down, that <laughs> will be, it is the best resort and it will be. It's setting itself up because now Disney owns it 100%. They bought the rights to it. So they are putting full effort into this. The park was already the most beautiful, the best. And now hands down, it will be continued to stay that way. So. Boom. We're done. <laughs> All right. So let's look at some of the comments. We did actually have a few people. Chat check. Yeah, chat check. There you go. There you go. Um, a few people joined us. Rafael Zingano. Um, there is. The Empty Nest Life. Yes. Um, I was going to say Matt Lake, but he, he's been on here. And um, <laughs> there's some more things. There's some Michelle people that said Phillips. some. <laughs> Brittany Lockwood. I don't yes. Know if we said those. Yes, we did. Oh. So. All right, you guys. So this is so all here's the inside. real deal. Yeah. So <laughs> we um we were fortunate enough to have visited um as we said Disneyland is our home park. We've I visited Disneyland probably at least 150 times um since 1987. Oh my god, I've been a lot. Um Gregory, um he's I've been a lot, but not that much. Probably maybe 25 to 30 times for Disneyland. And then um we went. I just went to Disney World for my 10th time the last time, and I think that was Greg's fifth. And then we both went to Disneyland Paris for our first time. So um, whenever you go to, you know, things the most, what you're familiar with, you're going to to love them. So in all honesty, our favorite, our favorite park is Disneyland. Yep. And that's followed um, for me by Epcot, and then it's followed by Disney California adventures and i won't go down further down the list your list might be a little bit different but um those are my favorite to walk through the land that walt disney created um is to me the light when you walk in through on main street and you see the the lamp on above the firehouse which is walt disney's apartment and it let the cast members know that he was there mm -hmm. that to me that feels like you're at home and it's something that walt disney had his hands on Unfortunately, in 1966, he passed away before, and then Walt Disney World opened up in 1971. <clears throat> so as good as Walt Disney World is because they opened up um, Magic Kingdom we're talking about, they made everything bigger. Disneyland is intimate. Um, Walt Disney World is more grand, and <clears throat> Disneyland Paris is just flat out beautiful. It's um, amazing. If you're talking about resorts, I would say Walt Disney World Resort is better because there's so much more things to do now the unique thing about it is they run it like separate companies because disneyland <clears throat> you can't get a fast pass until if you get the max pass you can get it the day that you walk into the parks and you can do it a quicker yeah. through the app walt disney world if you're on walt disney world property you can book 60 days in advance for your fast pass um, or if you're off property, you can do it 30 days in advance. And I think it's also for the Disney Vacation Club holders can do the same thing. So there's a lot of planning involved in Walt Disney World. You can book restaurants six months in advance in Walt Disney World. In Disneyland, it's 60 days. So how they run things is completely different. You definitely have to plan if you want to see everything in Walt Disney World. You cannot, in three days, you can see everything comfortably in Disneyland. You cannot do that in Walt Disney World. That's, that doesn't do it adjusted. Epcot alone would take you a day and a half to really go through every pavilion, everything to, to see. So um, there's just the size of the resort and options, the restaurants, the massiveness. Um, what is it? 27,000 acres is amazing at Walt Disney World that you can't really compete with that. It is a travel destination. Disneyland, like Kenny said, is more for... Um, locals, um, we feel uh, we feel the cast members are more personable in Disneyland than they are in Walt Disney World. Okay. And in Disneyland Paris, the one thing we can say is we had a great time. Um, if you've never been, we definitely would recommend going because um, we plan it by 2026 to hit all the Disney parks. We have them laid out in years. Um, and we just want to compare how they are to them now there were certain things like we were being honest about big thunder mountain railroad that's probably one of our best favorite attractions of anyone of that of any of the rides um it was just an amazing experience um right at the la bistro chez remy was an awesome restaurant so there's a lot of great features in disneyland paris but park number one disneyland um 
resort would be Disneyland or sorry, Walt Disney World. Are you along the same lines? <laughs> now that I took up all that time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'll keep it short and sweet. Basically, Kenny is right when he said that none of this would have happened without Disneyland. So that's one of the big reasons why Disneyland is our favorite part. Um, I can't really, I just say Walt Disney World in general would be my second um, probably pick and then Disneyland Paris. Um, I don't know if it's because that's so far away. Um, you can't get to it as easily. It is a beautiful park and everything. If I were to break up Walt Disney World, as far as my favorites, it would be Disneyland. You mean Magic Kingdom? Well, Disneyland, then the Magic Kingdom, um, then California Adventures, um, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios, um, if I was to break up Walt Disney World. Um, and then, the, I mean, I've only been to one of the water parks, so... But none of this would have happened without Disneyland. Um, it's the original, and it always will be. You can't take that away from it. It's set in stone forever. You can't change it. So um, that's all I have to say. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, Jim. Mic drop. <laughs> this might be a little bit unfair to you. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, someday I hope. Uh, the only time I was in uh, Disneyland, I was uh, six or seven years old. I don't remember it. I hope to get back there. Someday I can't wait to get back there. But uh, as far as parks go, I think Epcot is my favorite park. Uh, I know it's the one uh, my family uh, and I like to to go to uh, most. Uh, my daughter really loves it. Um, after that, maybe the Magic Kingdom, um, then Animal Kingdom, uh, followed by Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios just currently, especially even just right before. Toy Story Land opened, uh, didn't have uh, as much to offer. Toy Story Land uh, helps that a little bit. And then certainly um, uh, Galaxy's Edge and then the uh, Mickey's Runaway Railway. Um, the, you know, the future is bright for Hollywood Studios. The Animal Kingdom, uh, you know, with the live animals, the Safari, uh, Avatar, uh, the Pandora, all of that, um, it's amazing. Um, Magic Kingdom, of, of course, uh, uh, again, the, the people movers, one of my favorites. And, uh, you know, that's the first park I ever went to. Uh, but Epcot is, uh, I believe, my favorite. And, and again, that's uh, just going, it's going to be changing so much in the next few years. And, and I look forward to uh, seeing what that has to offer. I, every time I go in there, I see... Uh, the progress on the construction of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster, um, the the gondola system you can that's cl clearly visible um, from the the bridge between the the France and UK pavilions, um, and then they're adding a, a Ratatouille ride in there. So uh, hopefully that's just going to get even better. Uh, uh, so. Yeah, not having been to Disneyland uh, Paris or not remembering Disneyland in California, I would uh, say uh, Epcot Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios uh, for me. I'm going to do a quick <coughs> chat check. Chat check. Um, Debbie Emanuel joined us. Thank you. <coughs> uh, Michelle Phillips said Disneyland feels less stressful to me than all the Orlando parks. Magic Kingdom will always be my favorite because every time I see the castle, it takes me back to my first Disney trip when I was five. So that was a cool little memory that um, she shared. Yeah, Brittany Lockwood had said earlier, she asked about the haps and where we got them. These were actually, these they were probably like, ago. yeah, like eight, 10 years they ago. They don't even have them available anymore. <laughs> these are kind of like a felt kind of thing. Um, they do have these kind of hats plastic, now. Plastic, though. No, they're not plastic. Yeah, but they're they more like a, a baseball cap. Like a, they're not a, like this. No, thing. it's a different material of a baseball cap. But it, they do sell them in, in the... Um, you might be able to get them through the Disney Shop Parks um, app. <laughs> um, but there you know some one thing, ones on guys? Let, let me just say one thing. Um, <laughs> those people who are still in the chat, one thing I have to tell you that everything... From Derek, Greg, and Jim. If 
fantastic. I agree with everything you said. I think one thing that I am so happy about is everybody in our community, the magic. And we all know that Disney will just get better and better. So, you know, overall, I think from a park perspective, I think it's a little bit unfair to say what is your favorite because what could be favorite now could be the worst down the road. But you know what? I totally agree with you guys that Disneyland is my favorite simply because I feel that it, it has so much energy, has so much uh, history, and it's less stressful than going to Magic Kingdom, believe it or not. there If you kind of go to Magic Kingdom on a very busy day, it is quite stressful, believe, believe it or not. But you know what? It, it's still a beautiful park. And you know, uh, and Jim, let me tell you, Epcot is my second favorite park. I totally agree with you. Everything you said, especially what you brought up with the Ratatouille thing. I am so looking forward to that. You know, and we're just giving each other grief about the, the rat thing. I'm still I'm still going to hold that over Derek and Greg's head about that. <laughs> but you know what? I, I have to tell you though, Epcot is definitely something I'm I'm looking forward to going and going back. But again, thank you know for everybody here. You know, these guys are great. You know, make sure that you, you know, you know the people that that you trust to bring out great content. You know, and make sure that when they're here, they support you and we're, and they're here to support you with great content. So make sure you're subscribed to these guys. Oops. Thank you, Kenny. Thank that you. was Thanks, Kenny. very nice. Thank you. And very please nice. make sure everybody subscribes to um, Jim with more sunshine, please, and Kenny with Alpha Traveler as yes. well. <laughs> we also had a couple of other people that just joined us. Um, Alan Carter, which is a newer subscriber to us. Um, awesome. I'm pretty sure if he was, if I remember seeing the new subscriber. And Disney legend, our, John. our John's is here. So welcome, and guys. And Don Jaworski <laughs> came on, too. Yes. So thank you, guys. If we didn't get a chance to answer all of your um, questions that you might have asked, um, we do apologize. Um, we're going to wrap this show up, but just we're going to go back around to um, Kenny. It, it was all tongue-in-cheek, you guys. We're just having fun. This is actually something that we might continue to do. This was serious. This was a serious <laughs> Next matter. time, Greg will probably have an actual black eye. But we're just, we're <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that or a cataract. One of the two. I don't know. Yeah. Or both. Jim will have cataracts. Jim will have uh, Gary. Uh, Greg will have oh the black eye. But um, <laughs> as we go back around, um, Jim, um, your final thoughts and your Closing statement, which you like to, <laughs> I know you're still working on. I'm still working on it. Yeah, I can't remember it all the time. Uh, but I just said it yesterday. You think I would. But uh, again, thanks for having me on, guys. This was fun. Um, we don't normally uh, give each other grief like we did tonight. So it was a bit different. And um, it was uh, all good fun. fun. Yes, absolutely. It was uh, fun to hear all of your arguments. Um, uh, so thank you for having me. And like I always say, uh, can't wait to see you soon in Florida or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Was it? Thanks. I think it wasn't it. Um, can I have some more sunshine, please? I want to hear oh, you yes. say it <laughs> like that at least one time just to see how it fits. And really give it your all, Jim, when you try it. <laughs> try it in the mirror by yourself and see how you really sound and look. You no, know, I, I don't need a mirror. I'll do it right now. Hang on. Mm. Okay. Oh, good. There you go. All right. Do I have to do it like Derek does yep. it? Just oh, like okay. he does. All right. Uh, I want to see how you do it. Uh, okay. Can I have some more sunshine, please? There you go. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. I don't love that. That's not cool. I don't... He hates it. <laughs> I like when Derek does it. Uh, George B. said, uh, lots of good information for the uninitiated like me thanks guys so thank you very nice for those kind words yes um, everybody has really kind words to say so thank you to, to all three of us or four of us on the show so um cargo said i respect the heck out of all of you for being able to have fun debate to joke around get a little bit sassy and still manage to respect each other and say it's all fun so thank you cargo just wait till after the show <laughs> yeah then we'll really say yeah really when we're feel. off the air no, then we're in the <laughs> 
<laughs> so Kenny, um, final thoughts. Um, and then I don't think you have a closing thing that you say, but maybe it's time for you to, to think of it. You might it. make one up. You know what? I actually don't <laughs> come to think of it. But um, so thank you very much, guys, for having me. Um, I had a lot of fun. I'm definitely open to doing more of this. Um, it, I, I definitely, you know, even though, like you said, we give each other grief, but it's a lot of love. Um, the one thing that I want to say for everybody to take away with this is that this is a fantastic community. You know, we are all connected to some of the best people in the world. And don't be afraid to reach out, you know, to people if you have any questions or, you know, you want to do some sort of collaboration. Because you know what? We are all here in the circle of life. You know, like uh, <laughs> like uh, mm -hmm. the movie says, it's kind of cheesy, but you know what? It's it, it really is the truth. You know, if I didn't do YouTube, I wouldn't have gotten to know, you know, Jim, you know, Greg you know, and Derek, right? And everybody who's on the chat, it's that simple. Make a friend, we're gonna be here for you. And this is not like, you know, one of those sub for sub um, communities, this community, we do stick together. So thank you all very much for having me and putting up with, uh, with me, I'm trying to help um, put Disneyland on the map. <laughs> You did an awesome job. Thank you, Kenny. So, and we don't put up with you. You're more than welcome. So, it's your I awesome. say we don't put up with you. We don't put up with you, Kenny. <laughs> well, no, because it sounds it sounds bad. Like we very low tolerance for Al Alpha Traveler One. Very low. <laughs> no, meaning, meaning he doesn't have to say that. It's not about putting up with you. We are welcome. Donna Wintersworthy said everything. it in a nutshell. Ohana means yeah. family. So, yes. yes. So family. very much true. We are so pleased that you guys were on our, our show. Jim is a frequent visitor and a great friend of ours. Kenny, um, we are so happy that you're um, able to come on to our show tonight. So thank you so much. You mean a lot to us because you put so much out for the rest of us YouTubers. Um, big support group. So if you guys are YouTubers and you're looking for more additional information on how you can help grow your channel, he has some awesome insights and videos of his live shows that you guys can definitely check out. So um, thank you guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to both of these channels. They're great friends of ours. So, so one other thing, um, I guess my little thought, I was just thinking every time you go into a park, whether it's Disneyland or Walt Disney World, or if you ever get to go to Disneyland Paris and you think about the feelings that you get when you walk down Main Street when you first walk in, I guarantee every feeling that you have is going to be different for each park. When you walk into Disneyland, you know it's the original. So you're going to have a different feeling than what you would with Walt Disney World. I know I feel that way. Um, it almost feels like you're walking into Disneyland, but then you quickly remember that certain things aren't in the same place. And different emotions, different feelings come up. When we went to Disneyland Paris, um, it was different then as well. It was exciting. It was new. Um, it was the unknown. So, um, but when I go, when we go to Disneyland, I always think of how I feel walking down Main Street. You walk in the gates and you're like, <laughs> and I always look up at the plaque that you see when you walk through. Um, I don't know it by heart. Oh, so it says here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy because we have the plaque right there. But um, you really do walk into that world and you leave all your troubles and your worries behind. So just think when next time you go to a Disney park, just think of how it makes you feel when you walk down Main Street because it's not always going to be the same. <laughs> no, if I chase your travel. Here, here. <laughs> dilly dilly. Here, Greg. dilly dilly. Um, dilly dilly. <laughs> he says, Taser Travel says, and more and more expensive. It's true, um, but people are willing for that. Um, D Walker, I don't think we had uh, welcomed you. I saw you were in the chat earlier, but welcome. Thank you. And um, I'm Thank looking you, at our know. Disney adventures. Can't wait to take the family to Disneyland one day. Yes, yeah, so you will. You definitely have to go. Um, <laughs> Rob Fuzz. Happy birthday today. Yes, um, you've been birthday. a great friend of ours, so thank you so much. I think we're going to end it here, you guys. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a dilly-dilly dilly cheers dilly. with our blue water fish bowl. 
Cheers to everybody dilly dilly. here. It's to you, Rob. And with that, as we like to end our shows, as Walt Disney says, we are, we are just, just getting, getting started. started. Thank you, everyone, so Thank much for joining us. Night. Thank you.